I am loving Cody's nephew's TikTok reactions to Sister Wives, and he is churning these reactions out, so my apologies. I am a little bit behind. I want to talk about his reaction to season one, episode three. He has put out several more at this point, and I will get caught up, I promise. It's really eye-opening to hear from someone who grew up in this culture that doesn't really have a vested interest in the show's longevity. He certainly doesn't need to worry about portraying Robin in this angelic light in order to remain in Cody's good graces. Ben points out, dare I say, he exposes this manipulation tactic of Robin's from season one, episode three, and we have to talk about it. Let's get into today's video. <laughs> hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Before we jump into today's topic, let us hear from today's video sponsor. You guys, I am so excited to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Groons. You know how you can find toddler-friendly foods that have veggies snuck into them? I literally buy my kids those chicken nuggets and they're like chocolate banana muffins that contain veggies. So I can make sure my kids are still getting the good stuff while enjoying the good tasting stuff. Well, let me talk to you about a similar concept, adult friendly fruit snacks that come jam packed with all the vitamin and nutrition benefits you're seeking in a delicious tasting snack. Groom's gummies are vegan, nut free, gluten free, and dairy free. Generic multivitamins only contain around seven to nine vitamins. Groom's contains over 20 vitamins and minerals and over 60 whole food ingredients. This is cool and super important. Groom's is methylated, which means vitamins like B12 and folate can be absorbed by your body. I didn't even know this, but 30% of the population can't absorb certain vitamins because they have the MTHFR gene and that inhibits you from absorbing certain vitamins. Groons contains six times the gut health ingredients compared to the leading green powders. Get up to 45% off. Just click the link in my description. Thank you Groons for sponsoring this video. Sobin Robin. A moniker Cody's fourth wife has become famously known as amongst viewers. Girlfriend is always crying, but usually she's not producing actual tears, leaving fans of Sister Wives to often question the authenticity of her showcase of emotions. I actually think the most genuine display of grief that we've ever gotten from Robin was her season 18 breakdown when the last of the gravy trains, Mary, said that she too had had enough of Cody and Robin's bullshit. I wanted to sit on a porch with my sister wives. That was some genuine distress in my opinion. But let's check out this clip from season one, episode three, where Christine reveals she was not happy when she learned that Robin and Cody sealed their engagement with a kiss. Like a month later, I found out that Cody sealed the engagement with a kiss and I freaked. And I found out that Christine was upset. <laughs> I knew it would be complicated. I didn't know it would break my heart as well. Cody's nephew, Ben, had some thoughts on this moment. And the thing about the kiss that was really weird to me actually was the conversation because Robin's talking about how she hurt Christine and Christine is fine and Robin is crying. And that sort of felt really uncomfortably familiar to me. Because I've been in dynamics with people where when I would bring up something that they had done that had hurt me, they would have a big, strong emotional reaction to that. And then I would end up comforting them for giving, telling them what I, that my feelings were hurt. It's, it's manipulative. It's insincere. It's not cool. I think we all perceived Robin doing this, but it was nice to have someone from the culture call out and expose this blatant manipulation. Robin grew up in this culture. She went to the same church that Christine grew up in. She knew that the standard was that married men don't go making out with their potential additional wives. There's not a lot that I get about polygamy, but this actually makes sense to me. 
Cody says in one of these early episodes that one of the reasons why polygamists have short courtships is because plural wives are okay with other wives. They are not okay with girlfriends. I do think a fair clarifying statement would be that plural wives may have made their peace with more wives and girlfriends just has more of an appearance of impropriety. Robin turns this moment where Christine is calling out something that Robin did that hurt her and made it all about herself. Even going so far as to say that she hadn't fully grasped the fact that incorporating herself and her kids into this family that had existed in a somewhat harmonious state for 16 years broke her heart. Audacity. Thy name is Robin. To be fair, I know that the wives didn't exist all harmoniously pre-Robin. There were for sure issues, but for the most part, they were able to shield the kids from that. The kids all speak very fondly of living all together in the Lehigh house, even though we know that Mary would bitch about people traipsing through her living room. But I appreciate that Ben calls this out and that it's a familiar experience that he has had. I can't get over how Cody is staring at Robin in this scene like she is a wounded bird that Christine just ran over with her car. Christine is just voicing something that hurt her feelings that Robin did, and it becomes all about comforting Robin. Ben is absolutely right here. It is manipulative, and that's not the only manipulation that Ben calls out in this episode. Check out what he has to say about Cody designating what room Dayton was going to get in their new Vegas house. The first is when they're unpacking the rooms and picking which room is going to be which kids at Robin's new house. And Cody claims the room with the windows as Dayton's. Because Dayton is the man, and so he has to be by the window so that he can protect the women. Okay, you don't need windows to protect women. That seems to expose something that's true in polygamy, which is men get extra benefits. Why? Because they need to be the ones taking care of everyone else. When really it's like, no, windows don't help you do anything like that. Those benefits don't actually do the thing that you're saying they do. You're just using your power to get better shit at the expense of those who have less power. That's called a patriarchy. This is really interesting to me because I actually never perceived this the way Ben did. So again, I'm really thankful for his take. I always thought that this was messed up. Like Dayton has to be the man of the house at what, like 13 or 14 years old because None of these kids have a reliable father figure in their lives. But Ben is explaining that men would often manipulate situations as looking like they need X, Y, and Z thing that is better than what a woman was getting under the guise of needing it because they are the man and the protector. But really, it was just about getting the nicer thing. So maybe in this instance, Cody's knee-jerk reaction is that in this house filled with girls, Dayton should obviously get what he perceives as the best room. Cody and Robin really are two peas in a pod when it comes to their covert and actually oftentimes overt manipulation tactics that they perpetrate on their family members in order to make sure they always come out number one. Let me know your take on what Ben had to say about Robin and Cody's manipulation tactics tactics from season one, episode three. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Check out my second channel, Sarah Spills. A link for that will be in the description of this video. Follow me on Instagram threads and X at reality squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.